Welcome to channel please share and subscribe. Today's our topic is Connected Components Workbench Micro 800 Timer and Connected Components Workbench programs use the IEC time data types, which used for store non-negative time value, and useful for defined timer preset value and elapsed time. I am using simulator for making program. If you want to how to use simulator in CCW go link in description. Here I am making a new project for timer. Open your program and add new timer instructions. The timers can be used in ladder logic programs to control the timing of various actions and events. In micro 800 have off delay timer, on delay timer, ton off timer, pulsating timer, retentive timer. Teal in on delay timer this timer instruction used to delay the output after timer input signal has been changed from false to true. The output of this timer is set to true after the preset time is elapsed. Any timer input is bit this bit, so I am assigned start timer input for timer. Define preset value timer. Timer run only specifies preset value. Data type of preset value is time. The number of time increments the instruction is counted in elapsed value of timer. Data type of elapsed value is time. For more information about simulator link in description. When input of timer is set to true then timer operation start until it reach preset value of timer. When preset value is equal to accumulated value then timer done bit is set to true dot i n above example timer run only tens, which is preset value. When accumulated value is equal to preset value timer done bit set to true in timer operation stop. During the operation of timer, if input of timer is changed then timer operation stop and accumulated value is reset. Off delay timer, TOF this timer instruction used to delay the output after timer input signal has been changed from true to false. The output of this timer is set to true after the preset time has elapsed. Timer operation start only change an input bit on two off, true to false. T on OFF is a combination of on delay timer and off delay timer. If timer input is set to false this timer operation same as off delay timer. And if the timer input bit is set to true then its operation same as on delay timer. First is preset time for on delay and second preset value for of delay timer. Elapsed time common for both operation. Now all timer are added now check your program and download to controller.
This is our blog website here you find all PLC instructions. Here I am using same bit for all timer. So you see when timer input bit is set to true then on delay timer start and timer on of delay timer also start as on delay timer. When timer preset value is equal to elapsed time then on delay timer and timer on of stop operation and both timer done bit set to true. Now when we set timer input bit from true to false then time off delay start and timer on off delay operation same as of delay timer. So as we know timer on of run is on delay timer and off delay timer, which depends on timer input bit. A retentive timer working same as on delay timer, but the main difference is to it hold or retained accumulator value when input state is changed. If timer input changed to false to true then timer start operation. If the timer operation is continue and input bit of timer is changed from true to false then accumulator value hold or retain. If again timer input bit is changed from false to true then timer start from hold accumulator value until it reached preset value. Another features of retentive timer to have reset bit for resetting accumulator value. Other timer instruction don't have reset bit. Example of retentive timer, RTO. When input bit of timer is set from false to true then timer start operation suppose that the accumulator value reached to 11 second and input bit of timer is changed from true to false then timer retain accumulator value. If again input bit of timer is changed from false to true and accumulator retained 11 second then timer start from 11 second and increment up to preset value. If preset value is equal to accumulator value then timer done bit is set. An additional bit which reset bit of timer, it helped to reset retentive timer accumulator value. In the retentive timer, when timer preset value is equal to elapsed value time, then without reset of timer, timer operation not possible in retentive timer without reset, in other timer reset, when preset value is equal to elapsed value so in retentive timer, reset instructions help to reset retentive timer. Pulse timing timer on a rising edge of timer input bit increases an internal timer up to a given preset value. Any change to timer input bit during timer operation has no effect in timer operation. If the timer elapsed value is equal to preset value then internal time is reset. If input bit is changed then operation is continue. When input bit is set from false to true then timer start, if input bit change from true to false then timer continue increments accumulator value operation has no effect until it reaches timer preset value. Timer done bit is set to true, if preset value is equal to timer done bit.